Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Today, we are gonna be taking a look at this. This is the Tyler Audio Portable Boombox. So we're gonna unbox it, check it out, see what a boombox looks like in 2019. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this. Welcome to Recordology. Okay guys, and here it is, the Tyler Audio Portable Boombox. This is the model TAU-104SL. Now, my times have changed, you guys. I remember when I got my very first CD player, it was actually a Sony boombox, and I thought that was the coolest thing ever to play compact discs. Now, in a weird way, CDs and boomboxes have become sort of a retro item. Uh, but since we talk about retro tech and records and tapes and all cool stuff on the show, I figured it makes sense. Let's take a look at this. Without further ado, we're gonna jump right into it. Um, if I can figure out, open it, there we go. Um, it's got USB input, so it is a modernized uh, product here. So we should be able to play CDs, obviously, but also hook up a phone. It's got a digital radio tuner. Simple unboxing, you guys. Uh, foam end pieces and an instruction guide. And then it's wrapped in this anti-static cling wrap here. So let's go ahead and unwrap it here. Now, do you remember when CDs, if you remember, when CDs first came out, it was like this big deal, digital audio. Um, so it's funny to see this digital compact disc um, written on there. And we'll take a closer look in a second here, but um, this is very reminiscent of uh, what was really popular in the 90s, which was this shift from vinyl and cassette tapes to digital audio. So we've got the CD player, we've got digital radio tuner. There's a bit of uh, microfilm covering that. We'll get that off of there. Um, it's got a top handle. It's got this cool handle in the front here, which I think is neat. Um, on the back, uh, looks like this is where the batteries go. We'll take a closer look at that. And then on the back, um, see we got an aux input and that looks like about it. So uh, yeah, let's take a closer look. Okay, it's got a really cool design. I like the handle in the front and the handle on the top is cool. Um, it looks like we've got a source select right here, uh, power button here, volume, play mode, stop button there, transport controls, uh, tuning adjustment. Um, then down here on the front, it's got a USB charger so you can uh, charge uh, your phone and then a USB MP3 connection. So I don't know if you could put in like a thumb drive and play MP3s off of there. Maybe we'll try that. Um, or if that's just like to hook up a, an MP3 player. On the back, um, looks like this comes off. So, you know, and I'm not seeing here is a power cord. And I like battery operated devices for their portability, but at the same time, I really like to have a power cord. So let's see, oh, yes, good. I honestly didn't know if there was one. So yes, we do have a power cord. Oh, I'm glad for that, you guys, that's awesome. Because battery operated is cool, but I mean, come on, sometimes you don't wanna be replacing batteries. So what an interesting and weird place for the, batter for the uh, power cord to come out of. So you can power it off of batteries there. It looks like it takes a bunch of C cells, I would guess. I think that's like four C cell batteries there, uh, but we're not gonna worry about that because we have this. Now, how do I fit? Oh, this is weird, okay. So there's the ribbon. I like it when electronics do this, but there's like a ribbon that goes underneath the batteries. So when you pull them out, it helps. Uh, but we're gonna stuff that down there. And then there's a little channel here where you can run the power cord. And then there's a corresponding notch on this. So we're gonna put this back on with our power cord sticking out of the slot. Okay, there we go. Just took me a minute to get it pushed in all the way tight there. So there we go, we got our power cord. I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Okay, so plugging it in, you get the zero, zero, zero. If you press the power button, I think that just turns on the CD player. Okay, so on the front there, you can say it says CD. So I wonder if now I can press, there we go. So it switches it to USB mode or aux mode, and there is an aux. And pressing it again, we go to FM radio. Okay, cool. So let's tune it to something. I wonder if it's got seek. There we go. Over here we've got the volume button or the volume control. It's like a click. So click, click, click. 
Then over here on this side, we've got the tuning control. Very similar. I mean, it feels like good quality controls. Actually, I'm impressed with the overall build quality of this whole thing. It's even got a little stereo indicator here to tell you that it's in stereo, FM stereo. Does not have AM. Um, we'll be looking at some boom boxes in the coming weeks that do. This particular one does not. Um, but let's go ahead and listen to the CD player next. I love CDs. Okay, guys, and here are some CDs. Remember CDs? Do you guys remember CDs? Physical media, I love CDs. They're great because you get a fantastic audio quality. In fact, the audio quality of a CD is better than any MP3 or compressed digital audio file. These are lossless digital compressed audio files. So that means that the digital variant is not losing anything in its compression. That's a separate show topic for a separate day. Let's just say this. They sound better technically than any MP3 or streaming service you can get. However, similar to Betamax losing out to VHS in the videotape format wars, CD lost out to streaming and MP3s due to the fact that there's portability and instantaneous retrieval involved in streaming services and MP3s. But you can still buy a lot of CDs are still put out. Um, it's doing okay as a format. It's definitely more of a retro format now, a retro format. Um, but you know what? I love CDs because, you know, when you obtain a CD, you're getting something. You're getting physical media that you own. And, you know, this, this CD right here, this Frank Sinatra and Tommy Dorsey CD was put out late 90s, right at the peak, the pinnacle, I think, of CDs. Uh, older CDs will have like this uh, dark black kind of uh, edge here, which is, you know, indicative of an older CD uh, with the darker plastic background. Again, this is all very superficial. Um, but kind of late 90s here, you got this clear background with some artwork, you know, behind there, which is really cool. Um, and then this is usually clear. Uh, I just love this stuff. There's artwork on the CDs themselves too. I mean, this is all part of the package. Not only are you getting the music contained inside, but you're getting, you know, the physicality of obtainable media. And then these, this is something that's a completely lost art. I noticed that Apple Music is starting to add some very minor liner notes back into its stuff, but you would get books or booklets with most CDs that would have pictures and stories and interviews. And it was, you know, part of the fun of buying a CD was getting this along with it. So you could learn about the music, you could read about it, and it was really fun. And I really, really, truly miss this aspect of compact discs and physical media. Um, similar to records, you know, where you could read the back of a record, in some cases open it up as a gatefold and read the middle. But CDs definitely gave you that enjoyment of a physical media. Enough of that, however, let's go ahead and listen to a CD on this new boombox and see what it sounds like. Okay guys, so most boomboxes are gonna be top loading like this. I'm not sure how this opens. Uh, oh, there's a little lip here. So you just pull it up, a little protective thing in here. Obviously this uses a laser, so it's designed to function only when the lid is closed so that no light gets in there and disrupts the pattern that's being read. Uh, for those of you that honestly just don't know, uh, a CD contains a series of pits, hills and valleys as it were, which are actually uh, representative of a binary code or a digital bit stream that a laser reads and then um, the unit itself turns back into analog sound waves, which we can hear. Uh, so let's go ahead and give this a listen. This is Harry Connick Jr.'s CD 11. Uh, this is some music recorded when he was only 11 years old, the great Harry Connick Jr. Uh, and this is, you know, modern recorded music, so to speak. I resisted the temptation of playing Glenn Miller because uh, I really want to test out, you know, these speakers. It says that it has high, let's see, what does it say? It says it has high performance digital speakers. Now, as you know, there's no such thing as a digital speaker because we can't hear digital audio. We can only hear analog audio. But let's give them the benefit of the doubt, guys. Let's go ahead and give this a listen. So I'm gonna switch the mode back over to CD. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and listen to an 11-year-old Harry Connick Jr. smoking a piano, playing Sweet Georgia Brown. Without further ado, here we go. Okay guys, you know what? It actually sounds really good. I'm very impressed, actually. This little thing actually sounds really good. Um, you know, I'm wary of claims that, you know, something is high performance or high quality in this day and age when there's so mass market produced equipment and systems and technologies 
um, and speakers, uh, but this thing really sounds good. It fills up a medium size to large size room um, adequately, I would say. This is definitely a nice little boom box. Um, I would recommend this based on the sound and the build quality alone so far. Um, I'm really curious about these, oops, I should probably not do this while this is playing. Um, but under here, see those USB slots there? Let's test out the functionality of that with an iPhone. All right, you guys, I am connecting this to an iPhone and let's start here. Let me switch it back to USB mode. We're gonna start by putting in the USB charger slot and I'm curious, it does, it charges my iPhone, that's awesome. Now let's switch it over to this side and let's see what happens. It says this accessory is not supported maybe that won't be an issue let's go ahead and try something anyway so no that does not come through that was that was coming out of the iphone so an iphone anyway will not come through in terms of playing audio uh, so let's try a non let's try a thumb drive with mp3s on it maybe that would work okay guys let's try this i put a couple of mp3s from the youtube music library on a thumb drive and i'm going to try and play those Nice. Oh, cool. All right, let's skip to the next song. How do I do that? Cool, the tuning button also skips. Sound is great, you guys. And you just play MP3s right off a thumb drive. That is so awesome. Very happy, very, very happy with this product. The sound is rich and clean. There's no noise, full of volume and full range. I mean, getting good highs, good mids, good lows. All right, guys, and there it is, the Tyler Audio Portable Boombox. I hope you enjoyed that. If you're interested in buying one of these, check out the link in the description below. Proceeds from that purchase will go to help support Recordology, and I would very much appreciate it. But in the meantime, happy record hunting. We'll see you next time. I'm not very good at this. Neither am I. Okay, what did we lose? Thank you for watching Recordology. Stay tuned for a new show every Sunday and Wednesday. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter. Hey, you're wonderful!